Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Panhandle Outdoors on the road again. Headed up here to Tallahassee. We're going to go north of Tallahassee into South Georgia. Going to go quail hunting with my old high school buddies. A big weekend plan. It's Friday afternoon. I'm going to try to get on up there. It's time to get a, get some good food. Hope they don't eat it all before I get up there. But uh, Panhandle Outdoors on the road again. It felt like Willie Nelson. And somehow I get caught in a Tallahassee traffic. Goodness gracious, how these people live here. All right. Let's head up here and see what's going on. I think I'm the last one up here this year. Got some Seminoles. Always got Seminoles up here. <sighs> Good to see you, like Grafford. I don't know if I can behave myself that long. Come out of cool. Hey, Doug. Good to see you, cuz. Yes, sir. We're lost. Well, I'm, I'm just late getting started. Yep. Young man, how you, you know doing? Friend. <laughs> you know Good to see you. you know, Who is that? Yeah, how are you doing? How are you doing? Jimmy, how are you doing, I'm buddy? I'm fine, buddy. Good to see Good you. Good to see you. I'm here. We're going to be TV stars. <laughs> wow, now we're getting down to business, Charles. Yeah. Man. Look at those steaks. Hungry man. That's how you handle a hungry man. Put a steak on the grill. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, that looks good. Are those ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Turn them one time. <laughs> we have sushi steak. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're going to cook a little bit yeah. just sitting yeah. in the pan here. I think I just got tied up. Thank you, Lord, for uh, this time we can be together. Uh, for the many years you've given us uh, and that we've been friends. And thank you for this food that's been prepared uh, for Charles and Jimmy for the work they did uh, put this together. And we pray these things in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Hey, get these steaks out of here. We got a great one. Folks over there, Brad. Oh, 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 he's your dog. He's your dog. Yeah. Where's your man doing great? How's it going? Good. good. You still got a good dog? Yes, sir, got a good dog. Well, this is a sheep dog. Hit by the neighbor. Hit by the neighbor. I may do that. We can tell we got a guy's hunting lodge that still got his Christmas tree up in February. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, Bradford. Oh, I slept ten times longer than I did last year. Jimmy <laughs> snored all night last year. <laughs> we still talking. I only slept a, a snored a little while. I just put a pillow over his head and I shut him up. <laughs> I told you I do not snore. <laughs> Charles, you, I, you the cook? I am uh, the head chef. <laughs> We've got biscuits, scrambled eggs, got and sausage, courtesy of Tom Buttram. <laughs> Tom, where to get a sausage? Oh, Striplings. Where? Striplings Meat Shop in Cordell. Up in Cordell, all the way here. They, they know how to do it. I don't know what I All right, it's a quiet Saturday morning up in South Georgia. I'm going to show you all this fire pit Charles has. This is a beautiful place up here. 
They're not cooking breakfast. But this fire pit, they're hard to find now. They did all used to do all kinds of things with them. We had a good fire last night. That's like the old Confederate salt kettle, really. Very similar. They built a frame around it. Had a good night sitting around the fire, telling the stories that we've heard a hundred times before, but we still laugh at them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not enough. I'm pleased with a bit left. Charles, tell us about this syrup here. How much of it left? Well, it just got a little sugar in the bottom. I heat it up, but that is sugar cane syrup. Cane syrup. Somewhere around here. Better for you than. Uh, Going about maple syrup. Yeah, don't have all those preservatives, right? No preservatives. <laughs> and, it, and it'll, uh, the key to it is not putting it in the refrigerator because that's what makes it turn into sugar. sugar. Okay, it's, we're getting ready. Saturday morning finally arrived. I felt like a kid waiting for Christmas to get up with these guys. And uh, you hear the dog barking, everybody's excited. I asked Jimmy how many shells I need. And we just said, we don't count them, we just do a pocket full. So we go over there, they all getting ready. And uh, we're gonna be going in just a second. We gotta compare our guns and tell some more lies. All right, let me, let me get my, let me get my, my, my piece. Oh, are ready yet? We got David, Tom, Bradford, Charles, and Jimmy. That's our hunting party. And Ray's gonna be handling the dogs. That's right. What kind of dogs you got, right? I got German Shore Hares, an English Cocker, and a Black Lab. So we're well stocked with dogs. All right. Yeah. I think everybody's excited. Man, listen, it's a now somebody's gonna have to walk. Right. Jimmy, how do you get in the front seat? Me and the dogs are in the ride spot. <laughs> yeah. We're going in the ride. I'll tell you what we do. We get in the uh, mule. Okay. Shotgun. Good deal. That's what we need to do. Now that is a crew up there. I don't, I don't know if it's safe for all y'all to have guns. <laughs> This one right, this is Molly. She was in school with us too. Sadie. This was this was the homecoming queen. Homecoming queen? Yeah. Uh, Jimmy always liked those kind of dogs. Tom's favorite girl. Sit in. Sit in. Charles, we were talking about uh, we always uh Seems like when we get together, we've always had the same personality we had when we were kids. Just more, more, uh, more age to it. <laughs> more age. We laughed last night. I had tears in my eyes laughing about that campfire. Look at the deer scrapes on that. Pine trees look, there. Look at there, that deer scrape. They love those long leaf pines. Man. They will. the film crew to start off with. Last year that pond was full. You know, right, you, that's right. Last year that pond was full. Y'all just hadn't had much rain up here? Not at all. Wow. That pond is down five or six feet. Wow. Luckily we got a little water in there. Yeah. Unbelievable. Man, that is dry. Pairs. Got uh, Bradford and Davis up. All right. I'm trying to let that little puppy be around it a little more. Kind of walk up. Whoop. Yeah. Near the dog. 
Easy. Whoop. Davis, get on Whoa. up there, bud. Mm -hmm. Get on up around the, that opening right there. Whoa. Whoa. Follow the dog. Follow the dog. Keep moving up. Hold on. Make the uh, uh. Oh. Get ready. Get ready. Shook. Shot, guys. Come here. I got this other one up here, man. One for one. Is there another bird in there? There's another one in there. The other one's somewhere. There's another one in there. Get him, sugar. Get him, sugar. Get him, sugar. Where's he at? That's where he was. Bring him in, Bo. Here, Bobo. Bobo. There was a, a baseball cap. All right. Bradford, I want a clean, dead shot. <laughs> I am still kicking myself for not buying a box of those. What was that, Tom? It said on the, at the home builder show, there was a, a baseball cap set on the front of it. Just fix it. <laughs> oh, it a good shot. Shoot him. Shoot him, 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 Ready. All right. That is one dead bird. <laughs> Good shot. Bradford, we're giving that one a duck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have some flag. This is a duck. <laughs> duck, hell, never <them> gave. <laughs> All right, Mr. Host, can you explain the uh, delay in your approach to the birds? <laughs> well, I can't get away from this guy. These guys keep Here. talking. I can't get away from them. I, I can understand it. But we, got to, we got to move up and be ready. I know it. They're back there holding me up. They're impeding my progress. There's the one right there. Here we are again. Uh, where we got a dog on point and no shooters up there by the dog. Whoop. One explanation is the fact that they're both gators. Come on, move up, move up. Get him, sugar. Get him, um, get ready. Come on. All right. Was that the host? Be ready now. There's going to be another bird. Load up. There it goes. Was that the host of Panhandle Outdoors? Yeah. Turn around. All right. Oh, got him, everybody. Might be another. Be ready. I think that was him. That's all it is. Put him up, Bo. Come on down Put him this up, way. Bo. Put him up, Bo. Okay. I'll leave that bird. Is... Come on this way. Bird moves to the left. Oh, there. All right. Here's the bird. Do we have a bird down? Winston, can you explain that to me, please? Oh, uh, that's my first miss. The reason got. I missed because he shot at the bottom barrel first. I thought he was going to shoot the top of it. I see. Okay, that explains How's it. That's, that? a, that's as good an excuse as I can expect. <laughs> All right, Mr. Dog Handler, can you explain uh, that first session of shooting? Well, it's just absolute perfect. <laughs> Timing on all the shooters, that's yeah. all it is to now, I'm trying to film you, so don't keep Charles, walking to I can't, me. We can't yeah. get them focused. They keep talking yeah. about uh, the food and snoring, snoring and all, and all that. that. They, they can't focus their mind on these other guys. I know, guys. but now, sleep let's at. all remember this is a PG-rated film. <laughs> well, I see y'all. We're going to... Thank you. Whoa. Whoa. Right, let me let you go. We, three, we got three shooters here. Uh, yeah, we got two. Here we go. Oh. Nice shot, Duck. Bank shot off the tree. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> bank shot off the tree. What happened, Bradford? It was a bank shot off the tree. He hit the quail, hit, he shot the quail, the quail hit the tree and bounced right. off the bank <laughs> shot. That's what it was. I ain't playing pool. <laughs> 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 
Oh, we all got our finest uh, in our sporting equipment and all of them. Uh, Davis all dressed out real nice and all, nice gun and uh, Brad, we're going to show us. Say, this is another, another use of duct tape. Come here. Another use of duct tape. Say. What's the story about the duct tape on the shoes? I got holes in my shoes. It's wet. Come here. Well, <laughs> wet feet. That's good. That's good. <laughs> another use of duct tape. I didn't see one. Dogs went over there and started getting about that time a hawk got up with him and took off. No. He followed him out of that boat on the ground with him. A hawk at him? Yeah. Look at here, this rug. Uh huh. That's a scrape right over there. Yeah. Should have got here early last night. <laughs> I think the dog tired. <laughs> the dog tired and dog hot. <laughs> Liquid refreshment there. <laughs> this is North Florida winter, about 70 degrees. <laughs> it's been hot in You can tell it's going to be early spring. Got a jasmine already blooming. It's, here it is in February. All right, this is uh, Bradford's latest trophy. Bradford, tell us, tell us what happened. Just trying to get a little bit variety here of, of some of the game we're killing. You top shot of a pine tree. You shot the top of the tree. I put it. <laughs> I see right now. <laughs> Did you get the bird? Oh no, he got it. <laughs> well, I'm taking it home. We're gonna boil this up with some some fat back. It'll be good. <laughs> That's all we need. <laughs> most of them, most of them smoke cigars for that. <laughs> now the wind's coming back this way. Uh -oh. It's swirling at a club. I don't know. Right, Tom, how do you check the wind? We're fine. I smell it. <laughs> <laughs> Charles being the gracious host he is, he's going to be one of the last yeah. shooters. Charles, tell us about your weapon of this choice. This is an over and under 410. This is a Beretta <laughs> made in Italy. A 410. Is that the one that guy said was a real gun? <laughs> yeah, this is a real gun. Uh, no, no, this is not, no. That's, <laughs> that one still at the house. Okay. Right all right. Real gun, right? He's got a 410. Jimmy, what do you got? 20 gauge. 20 gauge. All right. 20. 20. This, is my, got this is my $50 12. gun. <laughs> this is my $50 gun. what I'm hunting with. You didn't get that gun for $50. $50. Ticket raffle. to the DU bank. Oh, okay. Here at Raffle Ducks Unlimited. All right. I will tell you one time about, what, three, how many years ago? Five Four years, years ago, ago. Five years ago. <laughs> Jimmy Suber and I went to a shoot over. Norman Park. Norman Park, Georgia. Yeah. You were the damn historian. Right? And between <laughs> us, <laughs> how many birds did we shoot? I'll let you lie. I, I, we picked up over 60 in the morning, I think 80 that afternoon. Last, last well, weekend of the season. And we, were, <laughs> we, were, we were in the groove, as they say. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't miss a, a bird. Oh, all right. Whoop, whoa, uh -oh. whoa. We just oh, got out. Be ready. All right. Oh, yeah. We sit here talking. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, Oh, Lord, you gotta put bullets in there. <laughs> watch out, watch out. Oh, there's one right there. Right. Yeah, Boy, we had a cover here. Yeah, get him, Charles. They're pointing somewhere. Now, there she uh, comes. Ray, what were you saying about the dogs now? <laughs> I, I want to be clear that all these out of control dogs belong to Mr. Jimmy Suber over here, the man wrapped <laughs> up in that and, dog leg. Okay. All the ones in control oh, are my dogs. <laughs> You got a point? Yeah, Whoop. We got some young dogs in here training. Whoa. Oh, come here, dog. No. Whoop. No, dog. All right, there he is. Up there. Y'all better be ready. Okay, he's going to flush him. <laughs> that was a cubby. But Charles, you still got one over here. That was a cubby there. All right, he pointed on the bird right there. One just went across the pond. Walk up behind him, Charles. See that one over there. Get ready, get ready. There it goes. Let my dog go in the mud if you would. Good shot. Bring 
Come here, Doc. Bring in the boat. Come in. Whoop. Whoa. Whoa. All right, y'all. Whoa. I don't know. It may still be running. Y'all just be ready. Bubba. Bubba. Just keep moving up. Be ready. No, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> this is a running quail. There it goes. Finally, oh. finally, <laughs> all right. Somebody gets credit. Oh. That was me, all right. Say what? That was me. Well, why can't we do that? Yeah. Go ahead. All right, Bradford, <laughs> you want to cool down? <laughs> yeah. Several years ago when you were younger, you'd jump right in. Jump right in there with yeah, I know it. I, that's when I tell you matured a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I got a reputation to keep up. <laughs> I'll be in there for you. Oh, good shot. Jimmy. Yeah, he, don't, he don't stand for any. Nice shot. Here, y'all don't, don't take y'all duck home when y'all kill them and eat them. Here. <laughs> y'all don't, don't eat y'all duck Well, those are leftovers. We just let them dry up. <laughs> they, they're wet. They don't sound here much. Oh, nice shot. Somebody got him. Okay. Look at the feathers. All looking for water. So you got turkeys headed down here to the water. Look at there. There's drought. <laughs> There's only just a little water. Look at that. Deer tracks, turkey tracks, dog tracks. Yep. That's one thing they have to have is that water, and they're going to come down to the water and hold. Yep. So you got deer, turkey, and quail. There he is. Nice shot, Jimmy. He's going, he's going straight away from you. Y'all see that rope? Here. Here. Come on, boy. Hold on. Right there. Hold on. Get him up. Get him up, Get him up, Whoa. Got that one. Sugar. Here. Here. Come here. Good one. All right, we're wrapping things up. This will be one of our final shoots. Over here. It's gone. <laughs> there it goes. Good shot, right. Davis. Davis, the duck bell. Gail's cousin, Davis. We're going to change your name from duck to quail. Yeah. What do you say, Charles? We're going to change his nickname from duck to quail. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the final bird. Who's ready for a hamburger? Well, yeah, we didn't have much to eat since no, we've been up here. No, no, we, we hadn't eaten in a we, good three hours or four hours. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't have much of a supper last night. We didn't have much of a breakfast. <laughs> and uh, hadn't had any snacks this morning. <laughs> we got a whole pile of donuts up there y'all got to eat. And we've eaten half of them now. That was a good shot there. Nice good shot. Thank you. Nothing but a thing. <laughs> All right. The fruits. The fruits of the labor. Not a bad hunt. We got six of those. That's pretty good. These dogs did good. Yeah, they did. Did all right. Mmm. 
String and hit the ground, they pick them up, and that's when they'd eat them. Huh. Yeah. 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 All right, I'm headed home. I guess you could say I'm bringing back a little bit of Georgia red clay on my truck. Bring back a few quail. We'll eat tomorrow night. But I think most importantly, I'm bringing back another good set of fond memories of being outdoors with my good buddies I grew up with. It seemed like only yesterday we were out doing this as teenagers. So, hey, you know, that's what it's all about. So, been a good trip for Panhandle Outdoors. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.